Tommy Carpency before the IBO title fight. Just in Chicago, we are minutes from a press conference. But let's start with the with the main thing. Uh, what's your take about uh, from Farah being favorite in this fight? Um, you think so? He deserves to be a favorite. Well, whether he deserves to be a favorite doesn't really matter. I mean, uh, I expected this coming in. This is his hometown. Uh, he's coming off a big win, and um, they're looking to come off another big win against me. It's my job to, uh, you know, not, not let it happen. Uh, the, you tried to win the last championship versus Nathan Cleverly, who, by the way, looked uh, better when he fought you than when he fought the last time in in Los Angeles. But uh, if you can tell us something about your development since then as a fighter. Um, the Cleverly fight made me a better fighter. Uh, I, I don't know if Cleverly looked better against me or, or it was just Styles, but uh, I think he really put a hurt on the last guy, whereas, uh, you know, his punch and power and everything wasn't the uh, issue with me. It was more just a uh, stamina issue. Um, you know, uh, yeah, he's a volume puncher, and, uh, you know, the, the, the trip to Wales was a little bit off for me. I, um, we got there, you know, six days ahead. Uh, we had to travel 24 hours straight. I didn't get to sleep, and, uh, you know, it, it took its toll on me. I'm definitely a better fighter since the Nathan Cleverly fight, and also, you know, this is a lot closer to home. I'm more in my comfort zone, and, uh, you know, it's a world-class experience. You, you, you can't teach a world-class experience. Yeah, so so you, you took the best what you could outside of sure. the win. You just took every round and uh, sure. analyzed and sure. uh, decided I, I should do better this and this sure. and this. Mm -hmm. uh, when did you guys uh, first heard about the offer to fight for the IBA title? And uh, it was a surprise for you, this, this thing that happened. You obviously knew about from Farah, because if I remember correctly, you guys supposed to fight some time ago. I was some some conversation I don't, about... I don't know if we had... Uh, I think so about a year ago or something. With Fonfair or not, I'm not sure. My manager, Pat Nelson, will know more about that. Uh, you know, I had a good... Uh, they gave me... You know, ample notice, of course. I mean, the, the hometown guy always has more notice. Of, you know, he, he knows his promotional dates and his fight dates and everything. But, uh, yeah. you know, uh, I come from a small town. I don't have a big time promoter behind me. So I have to keep myself in, in uh, decent shape all the time. And, uh, you know, when I get to call, I uh, go to the gym full time. What will be the crucial part of your boxing skills which should help you to win the title? Determination. So Simple just time. doing your thing, That's not it. getting discouraged. That's right. Um, without spilling any secrets, because we don't want to, you know, the other guy or anybody else. I'm not going to ask him about the, you know, the the ideas to fight you. But uh, there's a lot of talk about Andrew from Farah last ten fights, nine KOs, and the win uh, against uh, Glenn Johnson. But what do you perceive as a, as the biggest weapon? Of, uh, of Andrew from Farah lately. Well, Andrew, Andrew from Farah had nine out of ten. I guess his last nine victories were, were KO. Against, yeah, nine of ten against um, what, what world class fighters? Uh, Glenn Johnson was is a world class fighter. He didn't stop Glenn. Um, Glenn is forty three years old. You know, uh, I'm a young man, and uh, I don't want to go go into detail what our plan is. I'm, I just want to win. That's all. I just, I just so, so you are you are not impressed in the knockout power. It's it's not something which you know you lose you lose sleep about it. No, no. I, I'm, well, as a fighter, you can't fear knockout power yeah. from anybody. You know, you, you you go into a fight expecting to be hit. If you're not going to be hit in a fight, then then don't put a pair of gloves on. Uh, you, you can't allow someone's power to dictate how you fight or or, or determine how you're going to approach a fight. Uh, you know, I've, I've been hit before, I've been down before, I've beat the cow before. It's nothing new. It's interesting because uh, um, I spoke with from Farah a couple of days ago asking about how he envisions the fight to go. And he said, I expect the chess match. I don't expect any, you know, unbelievable exchanges. I expect any, I mean, me or Tommy just finding the way to impose the will, mentally and physically. So you guys are, you know, reading the fight about the same. Yeah, you, you never know. You, you know, he, he's definitely a boxer first. Most of the time I'm a boxer first, but when you get two guys together, yeah. you never know what's going to happen. You never know what kind of collision you get. You can get a, a boring, you know, 
dance where everybody's holding or you, you can get some serious exchanges at every fight. No matter what this man's style is before the fight, until he gets in the ring with that particular style, you don't know what's going to happen. And you like, you like, I mean, just judging by watching a couple of your last fights, let's say three, four fights, you have nothing against, you know, uh, Let's let's do some uh, you know punch exchanges. No, I'll mix it up. I have. Yeah, you mix it up. Yeah, so if you he, wanted to do it, exactly. Yeah. You know, that's the bottom line. He, he's definitely a boxer first. I'm, I'm probably you know 50-50, depending on what the other guy's giving me. And uh, like I said, that being said, both of us together may be a huge uh, you know dynamic matchup or or a, or a snore you know poor snore. You never know. Thank you very much, uh, Tommy. I let the best man win. Appreciate your time. Appreciate it. Thanks.